I'm gonna show you how all 7 logic gates work in just 3 minutes. Let's get started. Logic gates are really useful. You use them when programming Arduinos, games, websites, you name it. You can also always find them in datasheets of chips. Even whole computers are built around more than a billion logic gates. And in this video I'll explain what each one does. The first thing you need to understand is that computers work by sending millions and millions of zero and ones around at incredible speeds. Well, I say zeros and ones, but that's just a way to visualize it. It's of course actually electricity that turns on and off. So you can call it one or zero, true or false, on or off. The point is there are only two possibilities for the signal. This is what we call Boolean data. First logic gate, the NOT gate, the only gate with one input. It outputs the opposite of its input. You can also always see all possible combinations on screen. 2. The AND gate, just like all other gates, except for the NOT gate of course, this one has two inputs and one output. It outputs true only if both inputs are true. 3. The NAND gate, this is basically what you'd get if you play a NOT gate in front of an AND gate. It always outputs true unless both inputs are true. 4. The OR gate. This outputs true if either or both inputs are true. 5. The NOR gate. Once again, this is what you get if you play NOT gate in front of an OR gate. So it's only true if both inputs are false. 6. The XOR gate. This outputs true if one of two inputs is true, but not if both are true or false. 7. The XNOR gate. This outputs true if both inputs are the same. That's all 7 logic gates. And if you want to make sure you don't forget what they do, just take a screenshot. Because this screen has all 7 logic gates with the icons, names and functions. And then last but not least, here's an interesting example. This is a very very simple calculator. It only does plus calculations and both numbers can go up to 3 max. You might be thinking you can't input numbers since the signal only has true or false, so here's how numbers are stored in computers. I'm not going to explain it, but you should be able to get it by just looking at it. So now if you input two numbers up to three, you'll see it calculates the result. Let's do one plus three. Or three plus two. This is the simplest calculator I could find, but it's still a really good example of how all of this works. I hope you liked the video, if you did, like and consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it.